Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Trapper J Outdoors is sponsored by Duke Traps Wildlife Management Equipment. Dunlap Lures Results Matter. making some drowners i've been getting lots and lots of comments about how i make the drowners i do have another video on the vlogs from last year but basically you get your rebar i use these hag hag sliders you'll see on some of the ones that i've gotten square tubing i've made those got a washer for this end and as you can see, I had grounded, ground on it. But, well, the big washer, this is when your stake will go through. And on the other end, usually just toss a smaller washer. That's the one that stops your trap from running straight off. And then after you get your, you make sure you get these facing the right direction though. You want them going down and then they can't come back up. So this is going to be the top of my drowner. Down there is the bottom. So we're going to weld. Stay tuned for that.
Well, if you're a welder, you will criticize. But I ain't worried about it. There's one end. And I'm gonna flip them all around and bring them down to this end and get the little washers on and then we'll put the traps on. Stay tuned. <laughs> So we got both ends welded. Now our weapon of choice will be a 650. You basically hook your J hook into the grounder. And I don't I don't usually weld my J hook, so we'll just Crimp this guy on here. And it'll be good to go. I mean, if a beaver opens up that J-hook, we had some serious issues. Okay. I'm gonna need some pliers. I can't get on it enough. I'm get it. Tool just ain't designed for this part of it. <clears throat> Maybe we just got it. Yeah, we just about got it there. But that's what you do. I should have put a new J, new J on there. J hook, but I didn't. I just used the one that was already on the trap. Oops. For sure, struggle bus is real when you're trying to do this with your hands. <laughs> That's what we're doing. We'll get them all on there. Stay tuned. All right, guys, here we go. Six drowners done. Using the Hags bracket. You can use these Hags brackets for for all sorts of uh, different size stuff, chain, everything, uh, fiberglass. But it's got a hole here. You can run the wire. Drowners, or you can even use cable drowners with them. Got 650s on there. Six of them ready to go. 
I'll weld it. Basically, you have your end for your stake, stake goes through here. The grounder slides down to this end and it can't go past this washer. The washer will help dig in the mud also. All done. Basically, I just need to get some tags on these traps. I got two more 10 foot sticks over there. I'm gonna make three foot uh, stakes. Usually I don't make T-sticks. I usually just use the washers that I use on the ends of my drowners. I usually just put a washer on the rebar and weld it. That way I can use it for footholds like on a blind set or something for raccoon where I don't have to. I, my stakes are all multi-purpose. T-stakes are mostly just water trapping. So that's what I'm doing. I hope it helps you guys out. I get I constantly get asked about it. So, and if you don't plan on using these traps for anything else, yeah, go ahead and weld that J hook, and then you're you're solid. But those will eventually, once we freeze up, these will be taken out and probably used as cut sets if I need to. Depends on how busy I am at that point. There you go guys, the drowners. I know I'm not a welder. I just know that I make it strong enough to hold a beaver. I've not lost a washer yet or any of that, so. Whatever, here we go, done. More sets going out for on my Iowa line, stay tuned.